Hello everyone, my name is Francis and I'm here to bring a message of encouragement in the midst of a pandemic. And we are in rather troubling times, but I want to bring a message of encouragement, a message that will give you confidence in God's protection and just know that being in God's hands is the best place we can be right now. And I'd like to begin with the story of the statue of David. If you don't know about the Statue of David, it's a masterpiece that was uh, created by Michelangelo that remains to this day from 1501. Now, the story goes that in the middle of the 1400s, around 1460 or thereabouts, that two artists were commissioned to work in a huge uh, marble stone in, in Italy. And after working on it for about 14 years, they made no progress with it at all. And then this stone laid neglected for 26 years until Michelangelo came along. And in two and a half years, or just over two years, he created the masterpiece, which is the Statue of David. You see, what I'm trying to drive out is it depends on whose hands it is. And let me bring it to modern times. You see, if you gave me a basketball in my hand, it would be worth just 10 pounds or a tenner. But in Michael Jordan's hands, a basketball is worth billions. If you gave me a golf club, I might just swing around with it and, and just do nothing with it. But in Tiger Woods' hands, the golf club is worth a billion dollars. If you gave me a tennis racket, I might swat away a few flies here and there and insects, you know. But in Roger Federer's hands, it is worth billions. If you take the story of our Lord and some of the miracles that he did, you think about the boy with five loaves and two fishes. In his hands, it was just his lunch. But in Jesus' hands, it fed thousands of people. But what about Moses? In my hands, Moses' stick would have been just a stick. But in his hands, he divided the Red Sea. Now, if he gave me a sling, I might target practice with a few pigeons. I don't mean to offend any uh, animal lovers, uh, uh, but you know, they are vermin and I will target practice with maybe wooden pigeons. But what I'm trying to say is that in David's hands, the sling slayed a giant. You see, it depends in whose hands it is. Now, I love this scripture in Ephesians Two, verse 10 and he says for we are his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand in order that we might walk in them we are what his masterpiece is created in Christ in God's hands we are masterpieces and just think about it. We sing this song. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Now, God has got the whole world in his hands. Look, we wake up in the morning. The sun rises faithfully. We go to bed. It sets. It sets. It sets. And the moon is, is up. And the stars are in the sky. The seasons all remain and everything goes accordingly, all sustained by God. Planets, galaxies, all in the palm of his hands. And you and I are in his hands. And I love what Jesus said about being in the Father's hand. And I'll read from John 10, 10. John 10, 10, Jesus says this, he says, the thief does not come except to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and may have it abundantly. 
And then in John 10, 27 to 29, he says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give to them eternal life, and they shall by no means perish forever. And no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. No one can snatch us out of the Father's hand. No virus, no pandemic, no sickness can snatch us out of the Father's hand. And he says that my Father is greater than all. You see, the Lord tells us that we have his ultimate protection. What does that mean? That no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, say of the Lord. And in the scriptures it says, no plague shall come near your dwelling place. And he says, Paul says that, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. He also says, be anxious for nothing. But through prayer, with supplication and thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Look, it depends in whose hands you are. If you do not know Jesus, this is a perfect time to be in his hands. But ultimately, I want you to take this message away with you and remember in your own strength, in your own hands. There is only so much you can do. But in God's hands, you are a masterpiece. That will remain forever. Because one day, Michelangelo's will crumble. But in God's hands, you will be a masterpiece forever. But for the here and now, no one can snatch you out of his hands. And he says... I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. So be encouraged. God has good plans for you. No one can snatch you out of his hands and you are his masterpiece. Don't be worried. Don't be anxious. Trust in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you. And I pray for your protection and your families.